Situated on Hill Air Force Base in Utah, the Hill Aerospace Museum showcases a remarkable collection of over 90 aircraft, ranging from early 20th century planes to modern military jets. Maybe you're a history buff and want to learn about the early days of the Wright brothers or airplanes from World War II, the Vietnam and Cold War. Or maybe you're an aviation enthusiast and love everything about airplanes. Or you're someone like me who just likes to step out of their comfort zone to try and see something new. Whatever your reason, be prepared to be captivated and impressed by this museum. The best part is, it's free. Visitors can explore the rich history of aviation and aerospace technology through well-preserved exhibits and interactive displays. The museum's knowledgeable staff provides insightful information about each aircraft, offering a fascinating journey through the evolution of flight. And if you like the video, why don't you smash that like and subscribe button. All right, here we are at the Hill Aerospace Museum. Now, I don't know nothing about planes, but I like to do things uh, that I might have zero interest in or not know anything about. I just like to experience and check out things that could be interesting. And uh, driving by this place yesterday, I saw all these planes and I was like, this place looks cool. And now that I'm here, again, I know nothing about planes, but this looks dope. So we're just drinking it in right now. Outskirts. Look at the mountains in the background. And we're gonna walk up over to the, the entrance and then just work our way back. So we'll get some close-ups of these planes. You even got a base chapel. All right, well, here's our first plane. <laughs> or jet, whatever. The Northrop SM-62 Snark. All right, now we're checking out this big bad boy. The KC-135 Strato Tanker. Oh, it's the ones that fuel other planes. Yeah. Oh. Again, I'm totally not into planes, but I'm really happy I came here. Oh, this reminds me of the Nike missile set we went to in the Marin Headlands in the bay. And then we got this. Dude, look at the wing on this. Dude, this is the longest wing I've ever seen. And it's got like these, en like, multiple engines. Damn. B-52. Okay. Strato Fortress. Yeah. yeah, you were right. It's a heavy bomber. Damn, look at that. That's huge. What happened? It appeared in uh, uh, Hill Users blah, blah, blah. After its retirement, this C-133K appeared in the James Bond film, The Living Daylights. Ah, hell of a tight. That's some good knowledge. I was all, what is this? It's a pigeon feeder. No, I, I like this one. I like this little fella. First people for that room was that guy's room. Yeah, I, this, this one might be able to make it to the Soviet Union. And then, yeah, you know, I don't know if I'd put a nuclear on it, but man, that would be a lot of fun. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> cool. Maybe I should talk more like that. I have no idea. Inner. No idea. I don't know anything about anything here. Only that they fly and that they're planes. And there's no caption for this guy. So I don't know. Oh, that's the, uh, isn't that the Phantom one? The one that like, can't find it on radar or something. Okay, this one's a B-1 Lancer. Yeah. Long range bomber. Okay, I was completely wrong. Whoops. The T-28 Trojan. I don't know if this is part of the exhibit, but I'm usually attracted to things that are kind of in the back or in the dark or no one seems interested in. So I'm gonna go peep this guy. Looks pretty cool. And 
we haven't even gone inside yet. This is just the outside. No food, no drink, nothing about cameras. So hopefully we're good. The father of aviation in Utah, a native of Salt Lake City and a graduate of the University of Utah, Ed Garn was the first person in Utah ever to receive a pilot's license. This is super old school here. This is cool. This is a cool museum. Yes. I'm feeling awesome. it. Fun. Simulator. P-47D Thunderbolt. Oh, that's the best with a nuclear bomb. Doesn't look that badass. I know it is. It's like a nuclear bomb. This is a really cool museum. I'm not gonna remember anything I read. I don't know, I don't remember any of the names of these planes, but this is a dope museum. Uh, North American P-51D Mustang. Oh, look at that camera, aerial camera. Reconnaissance cameras in World War II here in the bottom. Follow the hatch. That's tight. And that, friends, is the Boeing B 17G Flying Fortress. Uh, you gotta love the old school. Look at these old school cannons. <laughs> that thing is dope. Yeah. Uh, look at these old school cannons. World War One model, 1905, 1905 field cannon. And there we have Curtis JN4D Jenny. This man would, huh? You could have bought one of these for fifty dollars. Oh man. <laughs> Dude, that's hella uncomfortable, man. Oh, that's, the that's what you had to do. You had to sit like that. Yeah. 50 caliber machine gun. Look at that. That's a rat. Oh, look at this motorcycle. <laughs> the scooter model 53, Airman Krishman. Oh, wow. That fits two people. It's a small ass one. It's a map of the country that I lived in for three years. And there's my city, Saigon. The Lockheed F-104A Starfighter. And we have the Convair F-102A Delta Dagger. Let's see why they call it the Dagger. <laughs> Air to air missile. You know what you got of that? The museums in Vietnam. The take on Oh, yeah. We have the Convair F 106A Delta Dart. Chief. Carry troops. Comet HH 43B Husky. Rescue helicopter.
North American OB10A Bronco. Should have won with the flat tire. Big ass wheel with the flat tire. <laughs> Stingray, it's like police. Douglas A1E Skyraider. This is what I love doing. Going to places and seeing, seeing things that I know nothing about. Because I'm gonna have to be honest, this is a cool museum. And I'm happy I came out here. No research, just heard there was a aerospace museum and decided to check it out, and see what happens. All right, and that's a wrap.